Hey YouTube, uh, I just did my dad's thermostat housing, well, let me preface this by saying, I have, uh, got me a car, I have my license, I have insurance, I now have a new radio and stereos, which I'll be doing a video on how to install a aftermarket radio into a Pontiac Grand Prix GT, mainly because I can't find a single video online, and I thought it would be useful for any other GT owners. That will work on cars from the Pontiac Grand Prix series of 2004 to 2008 because they're, from what I've seen, the same basic setups. The only difference in them is some have pre-installed amps and some don't. Mine does not have a pre-installed amp. Now, I apologize for being late on another video. I thought I would tell you what I've been up to today. So, <clears throat> my dad's been losing coolant in his truck. We have not been able to find leaks. The gaskets are fine. Don't smell anything coming out of it, which would indicate a blow motor. No knocking, no nothing. Uh, no oil in the water. Um, so I did some research. For 2004 Ford Explorers, the thermostat housings are made of plastic, as you can see. And here, hopefully. Uh, the only metal in them really is to stop you from cracking the plastic when you put the bolts in. And that's about all there is. Um, there are two varieties of this. One where it has two sensors, which I don't know what the second sensor is for. And then this one, which they're universal. This one came with a plug and then the slot for the temperature sensor. Um... So, yeah, what I wound up doing was buying a kit from Dorman, uh, hopefully it works, mainly because I've seen a lot of bad reviews with Dorman products before. Normally what I've seen is that these crack and wind up leaking coolant, but from what I can tell on this one, and see if I can get a close up to show you better, the o-ring right here, wait, it uh, has like little... It's like really flat where the coolant was seeping out of it. Um, hopefully this is the last known leak issue. Also, before I cleaned it up some, it had like little green splotches around here. Uh, let's see. Which is basically indications that you're leaking coolant out of there. Um, this is also like really, really bad and I'm going to wash my hands after this because that just feels really gross. It took me a half hour because of the damn factory clamps. I know they're quick to put on in production but if any car maker out there listens to this, please, pretty pretty please, stop using those quick put on clamps. Use normal, you know, screw them in clamps. Oi, but I digress. Um, these are known to have leaking issues on everything. Also, when I went to take this one out, these bolts were, like, really loose. The only one that was nice and tight was this one. Um, but, yeah. Hopefully, this will allow me to have my dad's truck properly fixed. He was nice enough to take me to work. Oh, wow. And, uh while I was didn't have a car and so I've been trying to keep his truck up and running nice and good for him he doesn't want another vehicle but I swear every time he says buy me a Hummer I want to throw water at him anyways but yeah this is a known issue it's all plastic most of the other ones I've seen on all other kinds of cars are made of metal which helps them last longer. Yes, they'll, it can crack, it can warp. But you'll know instantly if there's something wrong with it. This was leaking so slowly that I only had to add a quart of antifreeze 50-50 like once every month and a half. Um, it was that slow leak. Hopefully this is done. Because after this I'm just going to take it to my buddy at the shop. His name is Al. Uh, he owns Al's Auto Repair on Main Street here in Nicholasville, Kentucky. He's the only one I trust beyond myself to actually do any kind of work. It's a family-owned business. No, this is not sponsored. I just... I trust him more than anyone, really. 
So, yeah, I'm just... This is a really shitty design. Oh. And yeah, that's what how's what helps lines it up into the little slot. It has, let's see, one, two, three, and four. Four openings. Take it off, there are three sets of clamps. One here, one on here, and one on here. As well as three bolts. One, two, three. This is held on by little clips. Don't lose them because they're really hard to find. Uh, only place I've been managed so far to find them is the manufacturer. And someone I do not want to deal with. Uh, I wound up having to take this off. The thermostat goes in here on this one. Uh, the reason I had to take the housing off is because there was a wire in the way up here. And to pull it off of the hose down here. Which the hose is only like... Wait, come here you. About this long. So why do you have a hose here? Anyways... That was hard to get the factory clamp off. I had to take this off and then grip it right here after I got the clamp down enough and just pulled as hard as I could to get it out. Hoses are fine. And I replaced them with the clamps I prefer. So, yeah. If you ha are having a leaking issue, uh, this was like 30, 40 bucks off of Amazon.com. I will post a link in the description on where you can buy it. And so, to try and save y'all some money. Mainly because the dealership, even though we didn't buy it from the dealership, said, Oh, well, it'll be three, four hundred dollars and uh, a few days worth of work. This took me an hour. Oh, they're just trying to rip you off, folks. Take it to a good, no mechanic that you trust. Uh, beyond that, there's really not much else to say. Um, on the new one, I wound up having to buy an assortment of O-rings. Just because the temperature, the temp sensor that goes in here wasn't, the O-ring was old, but it's the temp sensor still works. So what I did was put two O-rings on it so that they wouldn't roll around and it fit perfectly in here and there's no leak. But that's all there is to this. I promised my dad I would record this video and throw this away. I'm really tempted to hide it in his room so that he can, I can annoy him a little bit. But I'll be nice. He got hurt uh, when he was picking up the clamps for me, the factory clamps, and accidentally cut himself. I helped take care of him before I finished up this job. And like I said, I'm going to be nice and throw it away. So yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And uh, the vehicle that was on was a 2000 Ford Explorer four-wheel drive capable of, uh, it's the Centennial Edition, 100th Anniversary. Um, beyond that, I gotta go wash my hands now and clean my camera. I'll see y'all later.